My name is Antoinette Lavecchia. I was born in southern Italy. I came to America when I was a little girl, and now I'm a professional actress in New York City. We are at the George Street Playhouse in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Today is the first day of rehearsal for I Loved, I Lost, I Made Spaghetti. It is a theater adaptation of the memoir about Giulia Malucci. Giulia Malucci is also an Italian-American who works for Vanity Fair now. And she wrote this book about her life and how she used to cook for bad boyfriends. We had a meet and greet. We met everybody who works at the, this theater. So we met the artistic director, David Saint. We met the entire staff, the people who work production on the set, the people who work selling tickets, the box office. We met everybody. Then we got started in rehearsal and we're working on the script page by page. We're not moving, we're just talking. I've never lost my girlhood ideal of finding a husband of my own and cooking for him and us eating happily ever after. This is really an important paragraph in, in her spine. Yeah, this is it. This, this is the thing. And I think that struggle there, it's like, this is what I'm saying. This is what has to be alive in you. These guys are kooky, but if you just blame but it But it's on also them, my story, Antoinette. Yeah. I, I tell... <laughs> I tell stories about my terrible dating all the time, and they're very entertaining. But at the end of the story, I'm always like, so why am I still single? <laughs> I very much identify with Julia's story. I am single. I'm in my 40s, exactly the same as Julia. And we're both Italian-American, we're both funny. Her father was born in the town next door to the town I was born in, in Italy. I was born in a small little town called San Rufo. My parents were born in this town. My brother and I were conceived and born in the same bed. And we were there and my father was like, I want my children to have better opportunity. There was no employment in Southern Italy. He wanted us to be educated, get work. And so my dad went first and then he sent for us. And there's a passport picture of my mom and my brother and I as little babies and we look so scared. And no matter how many times my girlfriends warn me, take it slow, Julia. Don't give it away so quickly, Julia. I just can't hold back. I have to cook for him. For me, a new boyfriend is an opportunity to show off the thing I am most confident about, my cooking. We moved to Connecticut and my dad got a job. And slowly but surely, we moved to a very nice town where my dad was the caretaker of a 400 acre estate on the water. We had two gardens that were huge. My dad made wine downstairs. My mother made homemade pasta every Sunday with cows and horses and sheep and chickens. So it was like we were back in Italy, <laughs> except you drive 15 minutes out and you'd be in America. I went to college and then graduate school, and my parents hated theater because they were, you know, you have to work, you have to make money. And my brother went into business very proud, and I went into theater. It scared them, but, you know, now it's been 25 years, and so they're a little bit used to it, except that every weekend my mom calls me and she's like, Lascia questo teatro, Sam. Always it's about leaving theater. They don't like it because there's no security. You think about people who left their country and their family to come to America for opportunity, and then their daughter wants to be an actress. This is the worst. My need to be in theater was so big that even though they were strong, I still kept doing it. The life of an actor, it's not a normal lifestyle. You're a gypsy, it's different. The satisfaction comes from moving somebody, moving their heart in some way. I mean, I love making people laugh. I love it. But I also love making people cry. I want them to feel something. And when they do, and then they enjoy themselves, and then they come up to you after and say thank you, it brings them so much joy. And that means the world to me.